So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated. If you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, former Unified Cruiserweight Champion of the World and former Heavyweight Champion of the World David Hay has parted ways with his trainer Shane McGuigan. Like this news has definitely came out of the blue, David Hay is currently recovering from an injury. He picked up in his pay-per-view showdown with Tony Bellew on March the 4th. David Hay, obviously we all know in the 6th round, ruptured his Achilles and had to fight the rest of the fight on one leg before he got stopped in the 11th round by Tony Bellew. And David Hay has issued a statement about this situation here. I'm going to read it out to you guys. He says, Following reconstructive surgery of my fully ruptured right Achilles tendon, the injury I sustained in round 6 of the box office blockbuster against Tony Bilyeu on March the 4th. I'm pleased to confirm rehabilitation is going well and I will make a complete recovery. Whilst I'm not in position to be announcing my next opponent, my passion for the sport remains unwavered and the desire to regain my heavyweight title is stronger than ever. Since focusing on my recovery, I have enjoyed the benefit of time to sit and reassess my future plans discussing these with friends, family and most importantly my head coach 2016 trainer of the year Shane McGuigan. Shane and I have come to mutual decision that when I'm ready to get back into a full training camp we will no longer be working together as a boxer and coach. We remain good friends and will always be metaphorically be in each other's corner but both parties agreed moving forward we weren't right for each other. I remain deeply indebted to Shane for playing a pivotal role in my comeback to date. I will be forever grateful for his hard work and tutelage. I would not be in the position I am today without this. Last Saturday, he once again proved his world-class credentials by leading George Groves to become a world champion, something in which has evaded Groves' former corner teams for nearly a decade. I wish Shane, his stable of fighters, and everyone at Cyclone Promotions the best of luck in the future. They are set to have an explosive few months. The haymaker, David Hay. So David Hay has parted ways with Shane McGuigan, feeling that they're not right for each other anymore. So I don't even know if David Hay should be coming back because even before the injury against Tony Bellew, he looked like he wasn't the fighter of old. He looks like his timing's off, his speed isn't there like it used to be. But obviously David Hay is going to come back. He's a very stubborn guy and he definitely wants to try and become heavyweight champion again. I don't think he will become heavyweight champion again, but hey, he could prove me wrong, so we're just going to have to see, aren't we? But who do you think David Hay should hook up with next, trainer-wise? Just comment below in the comment section. What do you think of the situation? It's JM, it's Sweetboxing.